Anti-cultists can dehumanize and demonize any organization they consider undesirable, pushing it outside the bounds of the social field. When you hear the word dehumanization, it might seem abstract to you. If so, I invite you to listen to the stories of the outcomes of its practice on the specific example. Alexander Dvorkin's Anti-Cult Terrorist Activities For many years, Ratsir's representatives have been spreading hostile statements towards numerous new religious movements. Their meetings, interviews, lectures, and public activities have created a hostile atmosphere in society, often leading to subsequent manifestations of hatred and xenophobia among the population. For instance, the ringleader of the anti-cult group in Russia, radical ideologist Alexander Dvorkin, has waged an active disinformation campaign against the Christian movement of Jehovah's Witnesses in Russia since the beginning of his anti-cult career in 1993. Dvorkin used all forms of propaganda against the followers of this organization. From defamatory articles in newspapers, magazines, and internet portals, to media appearances where he gave highly negative assessments of this religious group, accusing and portraying their activities in the worst possible light. The Jehovah's Witnesses came to an Orthodox Christian country. They insult me and my faith, and in this sense, I have the right to respond to them. My book is a response to their persistent molestation and their relentless recruitment. These Jehovah's Witnesses manipulate the minds of their members, but they also make enormous amounts of money. Usually, when Jehovah's Witnesses speak, they certainly squeeze out everything they can. Jehovah's Witnesses, by definition, cannot be called Christians, no matter what they call themselves, because they do not consider Christ to be God. Jehovah's Witnesses are undoubtedly a totalitarian sect, because Jehovah's Witnesses are a commercial cult.